exclusive tonight. Bleachers burn a toddler, leaving him screaming in terror. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. Yeah, those pictures so hard to look at. I'm Alicia Roberts. It happened at Wheeler High School in Marietta. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy spoke with the child's mother. Jamie, what did she tell you? Well, she's certainly thankful that the burns are only second degree ones. They could have been a lot worse. Now, she wants some good to come out of this. A warning to parents. Now, we must warn you, the people out there, that the following pictures are quite confronting. He would not stop screaming. I mean, it's just the most horrible sound you can imagine. It's a sound no parent wishes to hear their child screaming with terror. I absolutely felt helpless. That's because little Thad had just been severely burnt, second degree burns from searing bleachers. Little Thad was playing on the bleachers at Wheeler High School watching his older brother's football practice. The temperature in the sun that day, a scorching 98 degrees. He fell, stopping his fall with his palms and knees. That's when Heather Carlock heard the bone rattling scream. So he went to the burn center. Doctors shocked at what they saw. And within moments of them seeing his uh, injuries and he was taken back right away. I mean, we were there maybe 10 minutes and they had already checked him in and had him back in surgery. It's comparable to you have a bullet pouring, you know, boiling oil on yourself. Heather says the school hasn't been very responsive. Only one quick call from a part time employee and for them to not only not reach out to us beforehand, but then when I reached out to them for them to not respond and then pass the buck along to someone else was really disheartening. We reached out to the school for a response and they said they would respond tomorrow. Heather just doesn't want to see this happen to anyone else's baby. A sign is what they say would happen at best, but I feel like that's the minimum. Now little Thad wasn't the only child to be burnt by the bleachers on that day. He will continue receiving treatment on his injuries. He may have the scars for the rest of his life. Live in Marietta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.